have a very, very large box to look at today. A very large box that has spent the last four weeks sat at the UPS hub in Stansted because this came from our very good friend Scott in America. Cheers Scott, it finally arrived. It only took about three days to get from the USA to Heathrow. And look, sorry Stansted, and look, it's been pre-fondled. I can't begin to imagine the boredom and disappointment on the poor person's face who had to actually to check it didn't contain any drugs or bombs or weapons. Uh, let's hope that they didn't need the parts that were in here for their own vacuum cleaner and left them intact for us to fix mine. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yeah, that's why this took so long to come through. It was just sat in customs. Oh, hey ho. Let's hope that they didn't disagree with anything and left it all in here because I, I think I know what's in here. It's going to be difficult to unlock. Let's start there. And yeah, it is a very light box. There's not a whole lot in here really. Ooh, ooh. I've got a sunny day's mini dustpan and broom that could actually be incredibly handy for bird related matters. Ooh, thanks Scott. Oh, look it it's it's from actual China as well. Wow very cool indeed. This is in still that what else is in here? Oh everything's coming out. That's good. Uh, uh, uh. Aha! Right, well, object number uno is for a video which I can now finally finish. Wow, Scott, that's a brand... Is this brand new? No, it's not. That's good. Is it? I don't know. Basically, TLDR, video coming up. I broke Ryan the Roomba hard. Bad. No, I think this is a brand new... I, and yeah, I broke him. This part is only really available in the USA. And yeah, I finally now have a replacement. So I'm going to put this aside because I've got three quarters of a video filmed from an incorrect part that we had. Oh, we'll finish that later. That's cool. That's very cool. In um, what else? Let's just tip the rest of the packaging out. Oh, no, of course you're going to stick. In there. There's probably nothing in there. That's oh. Seaside parcel number two. Parcel number two is unmistakably the chassis from a Dyson. The Eagle viewers among you, Eagle Eyes, Eagle Ears, Eagle Watchers, will be called. Could this come out? That I have a DC 17 from actual America. It came from the lovely Mr. Power. <sighs> there we go. Oh, I broke it. I say I broke it. It sort of broke itself. It snapped its chassis. There. Um, well, that's it, really. It's been game over. It's been in the loft ever since. A good couple of years now. Thankfully, from Mr. Scott again, these are like DC-14s over in the USA. You can pick one up for free. And it's worthless. Strip it apart. Oh, one lovely chassis so we definitely can't do that in this video because i know exactly where my dc 17 is and it's far far away so i have to leave this for now but yeah that's pretty cool isn't it it always pays to triple check packaging because i thought i was a piece down and uh, the whole thing's been open someone's been through it blah 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 but no a quick exchange of messages with Scott and in here, which was the piece holding here, we have an envelope. And inside of said envelope is an Electrolux PN1 TAN. I don't know what TAN means. I don't care. I presume it came from a TAN one. But I think, think, this is the cable that we need for my Electrolux Automatic G so that its power nozzle works better with the rest of the kit. 
<sighs> right, so I've gone and fetched the automatic gun and oh, we got to use our imagination a little bit. So obviously we made this stupidly short hose a little while ago on a previous video to match this cable, which again came from Mr. Scott. Thanks, Mr. Scott. And well, it seems now I did that quite wrong because this is the end of the hose and the cable on the hose. And if I take this out of here, this is the correct angled plug. You remember this is the lead we had last time, which we got working, but we don't necessarily need now. We have a nice angled plug now to fit into our angled connector. And the problem is, now that we've cut this hose short, oh, we could have had so much more length if I'd have known that this was this long, because for now I have this random end on it. Do you know what vacuum this end is from? Do let me know. But that goes in there like so. Well, I will take it back out because this is the end that I think plugs into here. And it's a nice tight fit, I think, because they had two sets of hoses with these vacuums when they were new. So you can obviously keep one set straight suction and one set turbo. <laughs> what this end gives us is a cracking bit of length to, in theory, replace this black hose with, it'll be more black hose because it's easier, but it can be longer. I can put this joint light right down there and it's probably going to extend the whole thing and make it much nicer to use. But, in theory, that is fine. The next bit is that this goes onto there and then this cable just comes up and plugs into there like so. Unless, of course, the idea is that I don't need this electric hose wand at all. Ow. And I can just connect these two together and have it dangling like that. But I'm not as big of a fan as that. We've got this fancy wand, which again, I've no idea what it's from. Do let me know. We may as well fit that back there and make the most of having this extra slack up here. One day, not going to bother now to tidy this up. Since we got it all out there, we may as well give it a go, eh? Here she is then, the green beauty. Ooh! This lights this one. Wow! Very nice. Indeed. That's very nice. Yeah, this home is ruined the entire experience. But... That is only temporary. Oh, doesn't it sound smooth? And it always amazes me just how quiet this machine is. The power head is several magnitudes louder. It's such a lovely machine. Well, that was really cool. Thank you ever so much, Scott. I have a nice, complete Auto G again. Which I'll say again for the first time, which we can now refurbish. Oh no, look at that mess. I think. We should have a look at the sunny days mini dust pan. Don't be actually reasonably cool this one. Yeah, go make a mess. What we have here is, oh look, it's for, it's very handy look, it's for microwaves. Are you going to focus? Probably not. Oh. 
There we go, toasters, microwaves, oh, and stove burners. Hang on a hook in the kitchen or around your desk. Well, we'll give it a go on the floor, maybe. It comes as this compact two-piece unit and the pan clips onto the brush and off we go. And yeah, you can sweep rubbish away. Oh no, it falls out there. That's a bit pants. Felix, get off the phone, man. Try to clean up your food. Look, don't say that you're gonna have some from the dustpan. Go on then. Go on then. Yeah? Oh, what do you think? Look, it can be a food tray for a conure. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. The bristles, oh, I'm trying to scare him, are nice and stiff. I think this might actually sit on my desk by a hook because I get this all day from like above my head from a shelf. And um, it's always in need of a clean. That's why the pneumatic quick and the MBV get so much use. A lot of it's just on my desk. So this will be very cool. Thank you very much, Mr. Scott, I guess. I'd best let Phoenix sit there and enjoy his food and say thank you very much for watching me unbox all of this stuff. I can finish off my Roomba video and I can, I'll give this a wash first, then dig out and maybe even film the repair on my DC-17. And the Automatic G is now complete and ready for refurbishment. The only thing stopping it now is my own procrastination, which is reasonable enough and may take a little while to sort. Oh, that's better. So yeah, we have some work to do, some stuff now to fix stuff, because this needs doing anyway. And a question, Phoenix, a question, who wants these look? Come on, look. Oh, where do you dare get them? Look. You get them in here, look. Come on, come on. Oh no, he knows they're on the floor. We'll leave it there. Yeah. Question for those of you what have done this before, anything I need to look out for on an automatic G because it's now ready for refurbishment. It's ready for a much longer hose and hopefully this wire doesn't need extending, but if it does it gets extended. And we have a nice complete vacuum cleaner once more, a vacuum cleaner to repair and a robot to, well I say fix, this is just going to slot straight in. So I could probably finish off the video that's been sat in my project folder for the last nearly a year, no it can't be a year, six months maybe, and get that done as well. So thank you very much Scott and thank you all very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed and I and this stuff and that bird will see you soon. Bye bye.